Yo, what's good everybody, it's boy Eddie here and welcome back to GTE and before we even get into it, make sure that y'all smash that like button and if y'all see anything that you like throughout this video, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And just getting right into it, as you guys can see here by the color of these boxes, we have both of the Jordan 4 Union collabs and we have a very special episode detailing one of them more specifically, but I'll overview both of them really quickly. So let's just get right into it. So on this box that we have on the left right here, we have the Jordan 4 Retro SP Off Noir Fusion Red in a retail of 250 and also in a size 8, which is my personal size. And then now here on the right hand side, we got the Jordan 4 Retro SP Guava Ice Fusion Red with a retail of 250, also in a size 8. So actually, I have history with both of these shoes. These Union 4s actually dropped on my birthday of August 29th, last year in 2020. And unfortunately for me, I was too focused on my birthday and you know, trying to get ready to have fun for the day. So I didn't put all my efforts into copying these shoes. I thought it was gonna be pretty easy because I actually scored the original Jordan 1 Union release manually on release date. But you know, I kinda got cocky and it was my birthday, so I really wasn't too focused on it. Basically what Union did was create a new domain on the website in which you can purchase the sneakers from but the bots were too focused on the actual Union 4 website. So it was kind of like a thing to kind of throw them off. And once you entered the new domain and checked out the sneakers that you wanted, um, before you could check out, it asked you what color is orange. And obviously if you put in orange and you know entered it, you would get through the queue and you was able to actually purchase the shoes. And for the people who did that, which wasn't me, they took the W. And unfortunately for me, I had to go on the GOAT website and pay that nice premium, even though I had some cash back and I think a $75 gold credit or something like that. I didn't pay too much of a crazy price for these, but you know, it's all good. Obviously I have both pairs. Now for the Off Noir pair, one of my boys who work retail, who's always accurate with the release dates, they pretty much told me that they were gonna release on the sneakers app on October 31st or October 30th. And two weeks before October 30th, my group actually told me about some information, blah, 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 I can't give out too much. But they basically let me know that they were gonna release through, I think a sneakers hunt or something like that. And that's how I got this pair right here. So fortunately for me, I got both pairs. So now the controversy about the shoe. Let's just open the shoes right now and get right to it. So I definitely was one of those people who when they saw the initial pictures of the Off Noir pair, I was like, nah, this shoe is trash. Like, I thought the Off Noir pair was so trash. It was like the colorway was kind of off for me. And then the tongue itself was like flipped. I was like, nah, this joint is really garbage. But then when I saw pictures of the Guava Ice pair, going back through my Instagram stories, I actually said that the Guava Ice pair was a superior version. So still, I stand by that opinion, even though I ended up liking the Off Noir, I definitely think the Guava Ice is definitely the more superior pair. So let's just go through some details of the shoe. So let's get some zoom-ins right there. And just look at the details of the shoe, man. The only thing I still don't like, which we'll get to in a few, is the iced out cage right here, as well as the folded tongue but these are two things that can be changed if you take the time and effort out to fix it. So here we have a kind of infrared pink mesh right here at the ankle area. We have a military blue Nike Air tab with the Nike branding being in that infrared pink as well. We have a mesh tongue, which is a pretty new addition to the Jordan 4 model. And then with the outsole and midsole, we have this kind of aged yellow color going throughout it. And we also have a Union orange air bubble right there. Now here when we go into the outsole, we can see the infrared pink right here, as well as some blue Nike branding right there. Now going on to the lateral side, we have some aged yellow netting right here, as well as that Union LA tab right there. We also have this iced out Nike cage right here, which I'm not a fan of, but if you guys are patient, we could definitely change those things. And then now going to the tongue right here, we also have that aged yellow netting as well with white laces. And then we have our Air Jordan tongue flipped as you can see right there. On the left shoe, we also get a Jordan tab that says Jordan Union and it's also iced out. And then when we turn it around, we just have the Jumpman by himself. Now going on to the Off Noir pair, 
which I also like, but I definitely don't think it's as superior as the Guava pair. The only good thing about the Off Noir pair, I think you could definitely get more fits off since it's black. And if you know how to wear black, you can definitely pull the shoe off, even though it has a lot of colors going on right here. So starting off with the upper, we have a nice black suede upper. We have a black mesh toe box, black laces, and then we have a military blue ankle area right here. And then what I really like about this shoe is the heel tab. So we have a black heel tab with a more varsity red kind of color as the Nike Air branding. Now going back to the front of the shoe, we have actually white netting instead of that aged yellow netting on the guava pair. So we have white netting here, as well as on the lateral and medial sides. And then when we go back to the tongue, we actually have the inverted tongue or the flip tongue that shows the exposed Air Jordan. I'm going to the outsole and midsole. We also have, again, that aged yellow look right there, as well as our orange air bubble right there. And then going onto the outsole, we have a hit of black. We have our aged yellow. And then we have our military blue area with that varsity red Nike branding right there. And of course we have the same Jumpman tag right here. So we have the Jumpman Union. And then on the back, you just see the Jumpman. And then yeah guys, so that was just a quick overview of the shoe. You guys are definitely gonna see more of the guava pair for this video, but I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview of the shoe right here. So let's get into the guava pair and let's talk about what's gonna go on in this special episode. All right y'all, so what I'm gonna be doing for this special episode is actually customizing my personal pair of the Jordan 4 Union Guavas. I've seen things around online in which people were customizing their pairs and they actually made it look really good. And personally, I believe that the black pair actually looks better with the tongue flipped, but this pair you can do a lot of things with the customization so this is what I'll be focusing on for this video and I really hope that you guys enjoy we have the beautiful guava ice and what we're gonna need for this customization is an exacto knife a seam ripper a knife a dremel and a sewing needle and basically what the process of this is gonna be is cutting out this cage to make it exposed like a regular Jordan 4. Cutting the seams of the stitching right here to get that exposed tongue, and then using that stitching in order to sew a nice design on top of the tongue. And then finally with the Dremel, we're gonna use it to shave down the X-Acto knife cuttings because it's not gonna be too pretty at first, but once we shave it down, it'll be cleaned up and you guys will see the final product at the end of the video. But let's get right into it. So first off, we're gonna start off by, you know, basically stripping down the shoe, taking off the tags, the lacing, and just having the bare bone shoe itself. And this is like the only point we're gonna need this knife, so let's just cut off the yellow lacings. And then now, let's take out the laces. Let's get into it. Then that's it. Here are the bare bone versions of both sides. Now let's begin. First, I'm gonna start off by cutting the seams of the tongue right here so we can get that exposed tongue first. So let's get into it. FYI, I've never customized a shoe before, so this will be my first time. So I'm gonna be very slow and very delicate with what I do. So let's get right into it, guys. we have both tongues fully exposed so now we move on to the next step which is probably the most scariest part for me so basically what I'm gonna be doing here is cutting this iced out cage and making this open like a regular Jordan 4 so for example right here I have my fire red 
Jordan 4 is just for reference, so I'll be looking at this to kind of get this hole as perfect as possible on this union pair. So let's get into it. So I'll be starting off with the left shoe, and I think for safety reasons, I think I'm gonna cut the inside portion first so I can get a test run on how to cut this properly and shave it off properly. And you know, if anything goes wrong with this side, nobody's really gonna be able to see it. Then I'll apply that onto this side. So let's just do that testing. So for me, I'm just gonna lay the shoe on my lap and then kind of use my glass table as a reference. So based on what I've seen in the previous videos, you kind of have to like not get it perfectly down, but basically get a starting point. So let's see what I can come up with right now, guys. Let's see how sharp this X-Acto knife is. Oh, oh my God, I'm doing this, guys. Oh, snap, I'm doing this. Oh my God, this is scary. see that cut but I just started off right here oh my god this is pretty scary So here we have the Dremel, and I have the smallest shaver available right now, and let's just see how it works out. So basically this is how it ended up coming out when I just used a Dremel. Um, basically it doesn't look perfect yet because I have to sand it down with sandpaper. So that's why you'll see some plastic running on the edges. But um, basically I'm doing that to one, keep it safe. And then two, um, since it's shaved down enough, I'm just gonna really just tighten it up right there. And then it should look somewhat like this. I mean, honestly, for my first time, it looks pretty close to you know, what a Jordan 4 would look like. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So I started with the inside, now I'm gonna go on the outside and then we'll get back to it, guys. Also, I'm wearing a mask because a lot of plastic was shaving off. So I didn't wanna get any plastic in my nostrils and my lungs or whatever. So, you know, just getting back into it. so this is not the final product but I do like the shape that I've created for both sides this is definitely a great starting point you know what I mean um, since I was able to use the Dremel shaving tool to get the shape that I wanted on both sides then at the final point when I get my sanding paper I'll just sand everything down since the shape is already like the Jordan 4 like I showed before it's pretty much the same exact shape. So once that sanding is executed, then this shape will be completely corrected and be perfect and basically symmetrical to what the regular Jordan 4s would look like. So I'm definitely really excited and proud of myself and the fact that this is the first time I've ever used a shaving tool and it actually came out pretty smooth as you guys can see here. Both the left and right pair lateral and medial sides of the iced out cages have been completely removed. So you can now literally see through it instead of that translucent see-through thing. It's completely clear. I can put my finger right through it and it looks pretty damn good while you're at it. 
which to me looks better than the iced out cage due to the fact that it's more true to the OG form of the Air Jordan 4. So for example, as you see the fire reds right here, we have an open cage and I just think that looks way much better than the previous iteration of the Guava pair. So I'm really happy with what I've done so far. And you know, again, this is my first time doing it and it looks pretty damn good, man. So I have one more piece to this puzzle before I can say it's fully complete. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, y'all, so what we're getting into next is what I deem to be probably the hardest part about this whole custom right here. Like for me, the Dremel and the sanding part wasn't too difficult and pretty quick to learn, but I've never sewed a day in my life. So this is really gonna be difficult and I really hope I don't mess up the stitching. Alright y'all, that's gonna conclude the review as well as the custom and other than that, be sure to stay tuned for this awful look, alright? Alright y'all, so that's gonna conclude the review, custom, and on for look. And other than that, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to share with your friends and your family. Make sure to smash that like button. And if y'all see anything that you like throughout the video, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.